right, let's make sure we know how to do this next little part, which is to add a new slide, which you already know how to do, and then copy a table from one slide to the next and start filling it out. So here's, here's my version. Mine doesn't have any work on it like yours does. Yours is full of great images of your inspirations, your bubble diagram, your space plan, and your 3D model. I've been seeing what you're doing and it really looks great. And now we're gonna add um, some cost estimates to this. Remember, this is not a quote, but an estimate. So the first thing to do, of course, is I need to duplicate my slide. So I just right click on the last slide, duplicate it, and make sure I'm working on my new one. And this one is my materials. Um, dollars okay and it's not got the show booth on it now so I'm gonna erase everything that I've got and I'm just gonna put the materials in then I'll go to my copy of the material template and just grab this table I clicked on it right click copy come back over to my other one right click paste and now I've got it in there, but I, I may have to get it sized up a little bit. There we go. Now it's kind of filling up the space and it looks pretty good. If I want to do a little bit more work here, I can, um, can maybe make those a little bit bigger. Because remember, this, this template is larger, right? It's a different size. Maybe I'll make those 20s. And uh, I've still got room for all these. And these now, see there's 14. So I can highlight all of this and move it up a, a little bit. If I type in, I just want to make sure that things will fit and that they're an okay size. And so on this one, I think these should probably, instead of being 12, Maybe 24, probably a little too big, so 20. And these ones can probably be a little bit larger. They can probably be 30 and bold. That looks pretty good. Now I've got a really nice, nice setup. Okay, so it takes a little bit because my template sheet sizes are not the same. They're different. So when I bring one in, it's got to change its size just a little bit okay so that's how you get this in there and then of course then I'll start putting in my my work this I made that a little too big unbold it and it fits a little bit better so for each thing that you've got in here maybe this is my um, display background stand kit and I'm going to get one of those. And, and this maybe this is my um, five foot wide by seven foot tall and one. And I think mine was something like dollar sign 925. It doesn't have to be awesome here. Okay. And then one times 925 is 925. And then maybe I've got two of the ones that are three foot wide. And those ones I think were quite a bit less expensive. I think those were like uh, 520 on mine. So now I have to do two times 520 to get what's called the extended cost. Extended cost. Okay, and so I'll get my calculator out two times 520, $1,040. Okay, now there's one other thing on here and there's a total cost. And I want that to fit somewhere over here 
I can easily have that show up down here. This would be a really nice place to be able to put it. Get my formatting set up. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and I'll do the same thing here. I think that was, I think a 24 would look good on that. Okay, and so when I've got all of these ones done, of course, I'm going to add them all up and put them over here. Now, some people like to do this in a spreadsheet, especially so that it'll change and uh, be doable. But <clears throat> in this case, and this should definitely be a dollar sign, not a number, number sign. Since this is a quick estimate, um, you can do it. You can import or copy an Excel spreadsheet in here, things like that. Um, but we're just doing it the, the good old-fashioned hard way. Let's do a little bit more formatting here. Get those all to say middle. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And there we go. So there's a little bit of work to do here. You can make it easier. You can make it hard. Um, but once you've got all those other things, remember there's still going to be a couple of items. You're probably going to need power. You might need some lighting. You'll probably need a computer. There's just some things that you're likely to need. And so you can go ahead and add some of those things in and just estimate them. Each is one and put some number in here so just to show that you've been thinking about it. There we go. That is your material cost estimate.